Today, I'm telling you about HubSpot and how you can create an email marketing campaign to HubSpot. So guys, this is the dashboard of HubSpot. All you have to do is go to marketing right here and click on email. Once you do that, we're ready to start creating our email. Guys, before we jump into creating our email, all you have to do is just go to settings real quick and customize some of these settings. So once you come on settings, these are the settings for email. Here you can see we will edit our footer. Footer is just our information and it will be shown in every single of our email like this. So all you have to do is just add your company name, address, city, state and everything and then save these changes. Once your changes are saved, we're good to go for the footer. Now go to subscription types. Now guys, here you can see there is already a subscription type which is called marketing offers and updates. Now these subscription types are actually there just because when you do marketing email campaigns, there are people who will subscribe to these particular subscriptions. So if someone unsubscribes to marketing information subscription, they will still be able to receive my other emails. I hope this makes sense. So all we have to do is just create an other subscription type just to show you how you can do this. Now I will call this tutorial videos and description is for the people to get updated about tutorial videos. Okay, good to go and create. So once you do this, now we have an other subscription types and we will send these emails to this subscription type. So once you do that, now we're ready to create our email. So go to marketing and email. So guys, this is where we're going to actually create our email. So all you have to do is go on create email here. HubSpot provides a lot of cool features for you to create an awesome email campaign. Once you do that, you have a selected template to select from. So now in free trial, HubSpot actually offers only five templates. And but if you subscribe to premium, then you can also get many cool other templates. So for now, we'll go to just simple plain email. Once you do that, you will be able to start editing your email. Now, guys, this is where we're going to create our email campaign. Let me give you a quick tour. What are the elements HubSpot is offering right here? So you can see if I click right here, you can see these blue boxes. These are actually our text boxes that we can edit however we like. And right here, we will actually edit them later to add our text and add whatever we want to add in our email. Right here is the HubSpot sponsor. Now you cannot get rid of it for now because we're using the free trial, but it's okay if it's there, it doesn't make any difference. Now you have content. In content, there is a drag and drop system. Like you can actually drag these things and customize them later into your email. There is image, text, button, dividers, socials, videos, and then there is layouts. There are also different designs available for us to design our email. So let's get started with this. All you have to do is first, I'm going to tell you how you can actually edit your text. Right here is the body text. Once you click on this, the layout settings for this box will appear. Now, it's full width. I'm okay with that for now. And for the text, I am actually going with this right now. I'm not customizing any email, but you have to do is you're creating an email. So you will just click here and write whatever you want to write in your emails. So after that, once you have written your email and you know what you have to write in your email, you can just simply save these changes. Once you have done writing your email body, all you have to do is click done. After that, here you can see this is the footer that we actually edited in the start. So this will, we will leave it like this because this is the address and we do not want to change it anymore. After that, guys, there is an image option. So if I just take this and drag it 
right here after our footer if i just do this i can actually add any image i want to so you will just simply select any image and that image will be embedded into your email right now i do not want to add any image i will add a video or a button link however but for now i'm just gonna go with done for the image and i'm just actually gonna delete it okay after that there is a text option you can actually grab this also and drop it right here and there is a text option like you can actually add different text also or if you are referring to something you can add that text right here i'm doing done again and i'm gonna remove this because i do not want any text right now then there is a button option just grab that and drop it wherever you want your button to be i want it in the end and right here we have a button option now now this is very cool you can actually add any url link that will take you to that video or any site so for the button options you can actually see i can change text right here which i'm gonna change i'm just gonna say watch the video here now you will see this is my text that i had for the button now for button settings i can actually i want to make it a little round so i'm just gonna make it a little rounder after that you can actually change the color as well for now i will go with blue and once you do that you can actually add any url right here you can just copy the link of the video and paste it right here and select done after that there is a divider option so for divider these are the dividers that you can actually embed in your email that will divide your different sections so i want to add a divider after the watch the video right here you can see it has divided these two after that there is a social option once you click on social these are the options that will create a social link to your social media accounts so now there is a social option all you have to do is grab it and drop it right here yes i want my socials to be in the end if you want something to be on the top you can just do that okay now i have my socials right here so guys if you want to add any new thing you can just simply click on add and select from any of these for example i want youtube so i'm gonna add youtube also and if i want to remove something from the socials i can just click here to add it let's just say i want to remove instagram so i'll just go on delete and instagram will be deleted from here after that these are your social all you have to do is click on facebook and add your url right here so guys once you click on facebook all you have to do is add your url right here and when someone will click on facebook it will take them to your account done now you have seen these things around and there is also a video option if you want to add any video right here or a video link you can just simply drag the video here or add url done i do not want to add any video right now so i'm just gonna go with it. now guys let me take you to design and this is where you can actually change your any font paragraph settings or if you want to add any headings take your time customize your email really good add good text and your campaign will be awesome so guys after that let me show you something else if you add here so what i'm gonna do is once you do where the settings will also pop up you can actually do different settings from here as well so what i'm doing is i'm aligning the text with center like i'm aligning it in center so it will give a very good look like it actually looks good to me and i'm just gonna add my name here as well that's it after that you can actually align your footer in the center as well 
if you want to. I like center aligning because it's giving it a very clear look as you can see. After that guys, what you have to do is, if I go to design and text style. So guys, to just give our email a very clear look and make it more attracting, what I'm doing is, and click on the text and on your heading. Once you do that, you will see it actually gave this text some of the padding from beside also and from above. So it's like center align and it looks real cool. After that, guys, what you have to do is you can see that your campaign is like already your email is ready. You can add whatever you want to. I didn't add anything right now, but you can add whatever you want to from here and your email will look fantastic. Let me give you a quick tip to design as well. There are templates available like we did before. You can actually change the background color if you want to, but I'm going with white for now, but you can actually go with any color you want to to just make it look nice. Okay, I'm going with this color now. Just so, you know, after that, you can actually change the body color as well. Like the body will be in different color. So I'm going with this. After that, there is textile that we already saw. And then there is a button option. And then there are dividers. So guys, for our email to be created, I think we are done here. Okay, guys, after that, all you have to do is go to settings. Once you go to settings, now we're just going to go ahead and see our preview of our email. Now you can see my name is written, email, and after that, there is an option for a subject line. Now, this is the line that the receiver will see first. So be creative with it. Take your time and create a very eye-catching line. For now, I'm just going with video tutorials. Preview text, be creative with it also. For now, I'm just going with, you can add your preview text right here. After that, you can see what we did earlier. Here you can see we have our internal email name, which is video tutorials. You can actually change your email name from right here. After that, there is language, which is English, and there is a subscription type, which we edited in the start. So I'm going with video tutorial subscription type and footer is right here. Now this is the preview and I am okay with it. So we can just go to review and send. After that, you can go to send or schedule. I am satisfied with this. Now I can go to send or schedule. Right here, guys, you can select any of the recipient you want to send your email to. Now I only have one recipient right now. I'm going to send this email to. You can actually import any of the list you want to. You can create any of your list and import it right here or create a new list. So take your time, create your new list or import your contacts to send this email to. For now, I'm going with just one and you can see there is a sending limit of 2000. So it's very easy for you to send this email to up to 2000 people. So once you select your recipient, all we have to do is send our email. There is a review option also given. Now guys here, they're actually saying that I have not added any URL to my social networks that you saw. It's because I was just making this video, but you can add any of the URL, but it's good if you missed any of your URL or if you missed any of your information, this will give you a review before you send your email. So for now, I'm okay with this and I'm just going to click send. Once you do that, send your email now or you can schedule it for later. Once you click on send, your email will be sent to your subscribers. Now you can see my email is being processed and it will be sent in a minute. So yes, guys, it was so easy to create your own email campaign. Just take your time, be creative with it and create an awesome email marketing campaign. 
I hope I was a big help to you. So guys, it was so easy to create your email marketing campaign. Take your time and create an awesome campaign for your company. I hope I was a big help to you. See you in the next video. Until then, make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.